What's shaking, BGC? It's your boy, Mr. Sam, Miss Milana. What's what? happening? We're back again for episode two of Club Quarantine. How's your day going? It's pretty good. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun today. Uh, what we're gonna talk about today is basically our journey. Um, I don't know if some of you guys wonder, like, how did they become our staff members? So you're gonna get like a little bit of the behind the scenes. Wait a second. Of how we came to the Boys and Girls Club. Sorry. You done? Cleanliness is godliness. Before I go on, there is a link in the description down below. Um, it's a Google Docs. You can ask us questions there and give us topics to do. Um, so yeah, just let us know. Give us some feedback on what you want to hear. How did you, how did you end up at the Boys and Girls Club? What's your journey like? What, was, was what school long, did you go to? It was a long journey. Um, so basically, I went to the University of Charleston. And I needed to do an internship for my sport business degree. That was my last class that I had to do. And I was doing it at CrossFit in West Virginia. And because of basketball, I wasn't able to get all my hours. I did 480 hours. I couldn't get all those because we were traveling a lot. So I got an extension, came home during the summer, and I found the club. Okay, okay. Did you see yourself ever working with kids? Uh, yeah, I always saw myself working with kids. I just didn't know in what way I would be. Okay. What made you want to work with kids? Oh, man. I've always liked working with kids. Even when I was, like, a senior in high school, we did... I was, like, a junior. We did this uh, program called Leadership Scholars, and we mentored kids, and that was really fun, so... Okay. Yeah. You mentioned that you played college basketball. What was that like? It was a job. It was a job. It was fun. It was a good experience. I feel like it helped me to learn different lessons in life. Were you good? I was a baller. You've seen me, me and Mr. Sam play basketball. But who wins most of the time? And let's, let's be actually honest here. Me. That's a lie. That's a lie. If y'all have seen us hoop, if you've been on my team and we've hooped, we've always beat Miss Milana's team. That's not Almost true. every single time. Almost. What did you expect coming to the Boys and Girls Club? To be honest, I didn't know Westchester had a Boys and Girls Club. Okay. Like, I just felt like that wasn't something that we needed. But, I mean, it is. So, I just expected... I actually didn't expect that many kids. I expected it would be like little, you no know, chill. Maybe like half the kids that we have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of um, I didn't know what to expect either. I just knew that. I just knew that my brother was going here. And at some point, I was like, I know I want to do that. So you would, like, go visit well, you, when you picked him up? Well, yeah, when I would pick him up, I just saw, like, the vibe, how it was, like, just a dope vibe. Uh, the staff members seemed real cool. Um, and then eventually, I was like, well, I know that I want to work with kids. I used to do latchkey up at the YMCA. I felt like the Boys and Girls Club would be a better fit for me. So I was stopping in. Um, and then one of the, I asked one of the staff members if they were hiring, shout out to Mr. Al. And he was like, yeah, like, where are you working at? At the time I was working at Myers, which I really dreaded, <laughs> but kids retail actually, is that, does that count as retail? But anyway, shout out to Mr. Al, uh, he put me on and um, the rest is pretty much history. The rest is pretty much history. 
This is a continuation from the video that I did earlier with Miss Milana. Um, I shouted out my boy, Mr. Al, uh, for helping me get onto the job and stuff. But I also wanted to shout out Mr. Andrew. I forgot to add his name in there. But yeah, I just gotta show love where love is due. Um, my respects to those dudes. Peace. I started in the summer. That's where I met Miss Milana. And we started at the same time. At the exact same time. No, I really like working there. Yeah, it's cool. The kids are great. The staff members are great. Um, it's it seems kind of easy, um, but there's we have our challenges though. But we love it, which is why we still work there. Yeah. So we love the kids. We love you guys a lot. You guys make us want to get up every day and come do what we do. We love spending time with you guys. We love watching y'all grow and all of that. So. Keep inspiring us. Cause at this point, I'm bored. Yeah, we really do miss <laughs> you guys. Like we miss y'all a lot. This whole thing is just like, this whole thing is really, really, really unfortunate. We have to stay positive. We do have to stay positive. Y'all gotta stay positive too. Um, I hope that you guys are practicing social distancing. Like we said in the last video. Um, washing your hands washing your hands i Have forgot to, i forgot my mask in the car actually so washing your hands that is big you guys need some hand sanitizer big time big time wash your hands for 20 seconds with warm water hot water as hot as you can get it kill all the germs lysol yeah don't go out Unless you have to. Do it how I do it in Yellow Tribe. Explain. How I like saw everything in Yellow Tribe. Okay, I got you. What has been your greatest memory or your funnest memory? Like, like when you think of you working at the club, what are some things that like stand out like in the past? The day we had the block party. That was lit. That was fun. That was lit. The block party and the water. Was that the same? That wasn't the same. Was it? I think it was. Uh, both days were super lit. Those were fun. I mean, really, any like normal day is fun for me just because I get to be with the kids. Yeah. And because you get to work with me. Nah, I would, I would have to agree. The block party was so much fun when Amber came. That was so much fun. That was so, so cool to see just like how many kids we really have. Like, it's just great to see, and especially in the summertime when there's like different kids from like different cities or states that come through, that's like spending time with their family over here in Cincinnati and like they come through and kick it with us. That's a whole lot of fun. Uh, and the water day, if those are two separate days or if they're the same day regardless, that was a lot of fun. Um, I remember hiding in the back, trying not to get wet. Did you get wet? Yeah, cause like me, Kevin, the volunteer, I don't know if you remember him, mm -hmm. and a couple of the other kids, we was like hiding in the back. And I think maybe another staff member, I think Brittany maybe. And they like saw us hiding. And so they like sprayed the hose all the way back there and we got drenched. I had a lot of fun. I was good. We were, yeah. me and Miss Olivia were out in the middle. Yeah. Like, nah, I wasn't court. I wasn't trying to get wet. Yeah, I was trying to get wet. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Thanks. Yeah, at first I was going to social work, yeah, but... Same. I was going to get my master's in social work. Yeah, same. Yeah, I do still plan on being at the club. It's just like the vibes are just too... They're just too great to let go. Like, unless I move or something like that. Yeah, it's... it's Other tough. than that, what about you? I still see myself there. Like, because I was thinking about that. I mean, if I were to move, then yeah, obviously I wouldn't be there. But other than that, I, I really think me moving would have to be the thing that gets me out of there. Okay. Yeah, same here. That is it for episode two of Club Quarantine. Yeah, so catch us, Club Quarantine, every Thursday. Um, like I said, there's a link in the description, Google Docs. Uh, let us know what you want us to do. We can do challenges. We can do reactions. We can do... Um, I'm not really into the whole TikTok thing. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> I'm not really into the whole TikTok thing, so I have to think about that because I'm sure y'all probably want to see something like that. His song, just one time. <laughs> That's my whoa. Other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe. We miss y'all. We love you guys. If you guys need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to the club. We're all here to help you guys. Yeah. If you need anything. We love y'all. A whole lot.